CNN's Renee Marsh reports this trailing trend is frustrating for consumers and politicians. And the only big winner is, you guessed it, big oil. As gas prices soared and Russia's invasion of Ukraine was imminent, the fossil fuel industry anticipated a rise in demand and surging prices. And the political blame game ramped up. Democrats want to blame surging prices on Russia. But the truth is, their out-of-touch policies are why we are here. The blame was pinned on climate policies for hampering the oil industry's ability to increase supply. We need to be ramping up. We need to be ramping up right now. Through its lobbyists, the fossil fuel industry also publicly called for ramping up production to ease Americans' pain at the pump. The most important thing that we can do right now is really focus on increasing supply. But audio from several fossil fuel companies' calls with investors are in stark contrast to those public comments. Instead, companies pledged higher dividends and stock buybacks to investors as Americans were hit with soaring gas prices. Our cash flow driven return of capital framework uniquely prioritizes our shareholders as the first call on cash flow generation, not the drill bit. That's Marathon Oil CEO on February 17th when the national average for gas prices was around $3.52 per gallon. That same day, Pioneer Natural Resources told investors this. We're not going to change our growth rate. Uh, we think it's important to return cash back to the shareholders. The day before Russia invaded Ukraine, Diamondback Energy CEO also told investors they won't risk profits by increasing supply. No one wants to see that shareholder return program, you know, put at risk with volume growth. After a decade of dismal financial returns, including the pandemic, Diamondback also told investors the profit windfall they're experiencing is the moment investors have been waiting for. And on the day Russia invaded Ukraine, Occidental Petroleum CEO put it bluntly. We have no need and no intent to invest in production growth this year. CNN reached out to all of these oil companies but did not get a response. They don't want to spoil the gravy train. They want to keep the profits flowing. There are some in the industry that have made statements regarding not being interested in ramping up production, but I think those are offset by many in the industry that have expressed their intention to ramp up production. To hear their lobbyists speak, you know, they're sort of being held down by government. The vast majority of U.S. oil production takes place on private land, not federal lands or waters. And despite the Biden administration's emphasis on clean energy, it has approved more permits to drill on federal land in its first year compared to each of Trump's first three years in office. Well, U.S. oil production is increasing, but it's happening at a very slow pace compared to previous periods of high gas prices. The fossil fuel companies would like Americans to believe that is because of climate policies, but these calls show that is simply just not the case. They yet. sure do. I mean, they are hiding their real agenda, making money for them and not passing it on to consumers yep. in plain sight. And you found it and you put it together. Thank you so much. Such an important piece, Renee. Appreciate it.